How you doing, folks? I got a beer review for you. I'm gonna showcase uh, Otter Creek beer. Have some uh, tequila. Mmm. I had a good plaque. Uh, well, here's the beer we're gonna do for today. A New England beer from uh, Middlebury, Vermont, and uh, it's an oatmeal stout, one of my favorites. I like lager, but then right after that, Tide with Porter, oatmeal stouts. Uh, well, here's some info on it. This brewery's been open since 1991. I like this bottle. It has all the information on it that you need. Uh, the international bid units, it's, uh, the alcohol is 5.4 ABV, and over here it has the um, hops, uh, which the IBU is 32 IBUs, got all the information on the label, and the, all the information on the brewery itself. Uh, other information is that it's an oatmeal stout, they use dark roasted malts, You'll get some uh, notes of chocolate and coffee. I'm not too hot on the chocolate notes, and I don't know what they mean by notes. I guess little bits of in your nose, in your, in your nose buds. I guess uh, you get the chocolate. The beer is brewed year round. I couldn't find anything on tours, but it's located at 793 Exchange Street, Middlebury, Vermont. Again, this is an oatmeal stout from Vermont, a New England beer, and uh, the ABV is 5.4, which I like that number. 32 is a little, 32 IBUs. Uh, the hops are a little bit high, and um, uh, well, I'll try it and give an honest uh, opinion and what it tastes like. Here we go. Okay, uh, just gonna fill this up. Uh, I like it. That's good. That's okay. Let me uh, have that. Mm. Uh, what? Mm. Okay. Uh, a glass. I don't know if I'm getting reflection off of the lights that are here, uh, but hope you can see it. It's in old Vienna, O'Keefe Brewery. It's, this is their, their lager beer from years ago. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Get us an opener, an opener. Lose the Boston accent, opener. Instead of an opener. Um, I think my vape has come out. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the condensation. See that water vapor coming out and then the farmer smoke. Oh look at that. Rich, rich dark hair. Yeah, that truly is the colors of an oatmeal stout. All right, let's let that carbonation do its work. What I wanted to show you is, uh, I don't know if it was uh, two, two uh, reviews ago, or one review ago, I showed folks this and had them try to guess what it is and uh, told them what it is. What I have now is, because I collect mo old milk bottles, and this goes with this. This is called cr uh, Cream Top. Uh, and what happens is, in those years that the milk was produced, it wasn't homogenized. The, cr the cream collected up here. The milk was down here. Cream rose to the top. So they say cream goes to the top. And all, it was all cream in here. The housewife would use this with that point on it, pull off the cap. Cap would come off, and she could do two things. From out of cream she needed, 
you can scoop it out as needed. Or, there we go. Yeah, I can see this diagram. She would block the passage of the milk. So as she poured, just the cream would come out. It's cream top bottle. And if you can see the diagram, that spoon is inside the top, blocking any milk from coming out. So she would get all the cream. Sometimes uh, the homemaker, most times it was the wife then, would uh, need it for making puddings or whatever kind of cooking they were doing at the time and needed cream. Instead of being in a, a can that we have, we shake up and shh, and uh, this came like this. This is the cream mostly came like this. This is in the 30s and the 20s, uh, really 40s, actually still the 40s. And this, this uh, creamery, Gulf Hill, if you can really see the name, is in Dartmouth, Mass, which had a lot. It was, it's all cities in that area, Buzzards Bay, uh, Dartmouth, Fall River, New Bedford, Dighton, Metapoiset, Marion, Acushionet, uh and a lot of cities, a lot of three family, uh, three stories, and uh, a lot of milk companies, a lot of processes there. I know New Bedford Creamery was one of the bigger ones, but uh, that's what that was about. And uh, that was that spoon. Uh, yeah. Okay, now back to this. Back to this. Uh, Couch Surfer. I guess I haven't even mentioned that. <laughs> I, I like the name. This is Otter Creek Brewery up in Middlebury, Vermont. Couch Surfer. Uh, I mean, all us guys know about that, particularly on Sunday. Oh, today is all Saturday. Today's Saturday, the 25th of March. It's snowing here, not hard. Mixed with rain. It's cold. It's New England. That kind of time of the year. Uh, so, today is a lot of college games. Um, I like baseball, uh, football, hockey, tennis, even golf. Uh, I don't care for other sports other than that. I watch those. Sundays is professional. That's the beer. All right, no further ado. The head has gone down. All right. Less than half an inch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can smell. Uh, that, yeah, that. Chocolate note, as they say, notes. Whatever the hell that means, notes. Uh, let's put, they should just say the aroma is chocolate and coffee. That's what they have from the bottle and on their website. But notes, notes to me is from music. A notes, write little notes to your girlfriend. But the love of your life, you write these little notes. Uh, this is another beer my loving wife bought. She buys most of them. And, uh, uh, I do like the, the aroma of it. So, here we go. Uh, oh. That is good. I know I'm going to drink, be down here a bit. I know my wife wants to go to some Chinese, go restaurant for Chinese food today, so put something in my stomach so I can drive. Uh, so we'll go later. If I do this, uh, Fritos. I haven't had these in a long time. Uh, when I was younger, see the older guys were drinking beer. They'd have their Fritos, and they'd be eating them in the be a summer day, and eating them. And then they'd have a nice cold beer, a swig of a cold beer. And that looks so good. I couldn't wait to get older. I shouldn't talk and eat at the same time. I can't do either one of them. Either one of them on its own. Good to know. Oh well. I got my bad grandma. All right. Hmm. Not feeling good. Sorry, I go off on these tangents, but uh, I like this beer. I like it. I like it.
it's true to form. The darkness of the stout, color of the head, the foam, and the notes <laughs> that hit my nose buds. It is really sm smells good. <clears throat> On all these reviews, this goes up there with that shandy, that pineapple, the lower pineapple shandy. That was really good, and this really matches it. I got the door open so I can see the weather, and uh, this kind of beer you want to drink on the daylight today. Rainy and snow mixed in with it. Really, I was out, and yesterday I was painting all my uh, bird feeders. That's why I probably got paint on my hands the last few days. <clears throat> That's good. That is good. All right. No further ado. Uh, have a good day. If you're drinking alcohol, be responsible. Don't drive. So, ciao.